and welcome to Inside Edition to discuss national, regional and international issues in depth. Bahrain enjoys a strategic location in the center of the Gulf, which allows it to serve the upper Gulf's cargo needs. Khalifa bin Salman port offers capacity, efficient operations, fast turnaround times for vessels, and short transit times. The port's location in the heart of the GCC makes Bahrain an ideal choice for carriers transshipping containers to the important and rapidly expanding upper Gulf region. On December 8, 2006, APM Terminals, the world's second largest terminal operator, was awarded a concession to manage and operate the existing port, Mina Salman, until such time as Khalifa bin Salman port was completed. Benefiting from Bahrain's strategic location and a regulatory framework that aims to promote business opportunities in the sector, Bahrain's maritime industry, since the opening of Khalifa bin Salman port in 2009, has significantly contributed to the kingdom's economic development and has grown steadily in terms of trade volumes and connections across the region. Marking 10th anniversary of its opening, we are pleased to welcome here in the studio Mr. Farouk Zubairi, Chief Financial Officer of APM Terminal Bahrain, to talk about the stages of development and aspired goals. Driven by Bahrain's Economic Vision 2030, the Kingdom of Bahrain has rapidly moved forward during the rule of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, King of the Kingdom of Bahrain. With a focus on providing all Bahrainis more opportunities. Based on the principles of sustainability, fairness and competitiveness, Vision 2030 included an ambitious privatization program, including the telecommunications, power and ports industries. Ports privatization was successfully achieved and Khalifa bin Salman port was officially inaugurated by His Majesty the King in 2009. Led by APM Terminals, a global leader in port operations, the port has served as a launchpad for business, empowering local manufacturers and suppliers as a key enabler to compete globally. On the 9th of December 2018, APM Terminals Bahrain converted into a public company and got listed on Bahrain Bourse with 800 plus shareholders, providing opportunity for Bahrainis to benefit and be part of this success story. Around 85% of total shareholders are Bahraini shareholders. The share price has almost doubled since listing and has outperformed the benchmark Bahrain Bourse Index as well as S&P GCC Index. With an estimated 90% of the goods we consume entering through KBSP, the port is one of Bahrain's busiest hubs for trade and commerce. Situated adjacent to the Bahrain Logistics Zone, the Salman Industrial City and within close proximity to the Bahrain International Airport, KBSP is setting the standards in the region for efficiency and ease of doing business. KBSP has an increasing focus on future growth industries such as the e-commerce industry. The port's lift system, an advanced digital solution enabling customers to book appointments online and take delivery of their containers and cargo, has elevated the port's efficiency to a new level with regards to providing speed and convenience. KBSP is more than simply an infrastructural development. It's a port where around 800 Bahrainis have developed their careers and enjoyed growth opportunities. A port that's conscious about environmental challenges and works towards sustainable operations. A port that works to stimulate success in partnership with all its stakeholders across government and the private sector. Working hand in hand, the Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunications and APM Terminals work to help move the Kingdom of Bahrain forward, providing opportunities for people and commerce. As we celebrate the port's 10 years of success, we look ahead optimistically with solutions to face the challenges of the next 10 years. Together, Khalifa bin Salman Port, moving forward to economic excellence. Welcome back to the studio. Joining me here is Mr. Farooq Al-Zubairi. Thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you for having me. And congratulations on the 10th anniversary. Yeah, it is uh, a key milestone, a great momentous occasion. Uh, not just for us, but the entire country is what I would say. And, uh, you know, just 
to, to, for your understanding and the understanding of your viewers, uh, what I would just highlight is uh, that Khalifa bin Salman port uh, is, is a shining example mm -hmm. of a successful, a very successful yes. public-private partnership. Mm -hmm. Uh, in 2008, uh, His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa laid out the Bahrain Economic Vision 2030. Mm -hmm. As part of the vision, uh, port operations were privatized. Yeah. And uh, the port services were, uh, you know, APM terminals was appointed as the port operator uh, to conduct the operations of the port in accordance with global standards and best practices. Okay. So okay. this is just a bit of a background how, on how, you know, Khalifa bin Salman port uh, originated uh, 10 years ago when okay. operations were moved from uh, Mina Salman uh, to Khalifa bin Salman port. Wonderful. As and part and of the vision, yeah. And uh, with these uh, whole um, changes that happened and the privatization, a lot of growth and development has already um, uh, come about. Can you tell us about that? Yes, absolutely. So uh, since the last 10 years, uh, you know, ports, uh, just a bit of a background again, ports, play, ports are a vital part of infrastructure in the overall national infrastructure of okay. any country. Mm. And the reason for that is they are the key uh, connections uh, to the global markets Obviously. for any country. Yeah. Uh, and similarly, in Khalifa bin Salman ports, it has opened up uh, Bahrain to the global markets. Yep. And what we've seen in the past 10 years is a very steady uh, increase in both import and export volumes, mm -hmm. which are a key uh, denominator of, you know, the economic uh, development of any country. Yeah. So that has steadily grown uh, over the period uh, of 10 years. Year on year, there has been uh, growth uh, in that. Plus, uh, you know, uh, the port has in itself facilitated a lot of other key infrastructure projects which have happened in Bahrain. Yeah. Uh, the recent examples which I can give you are, you know, the airport expansion, uh, oh. which which has happened. Yes. So a lot of cargo moves through uh, the Khalifa bin Salman port, and for these big infrastructure projects, uh, we are a key player in the overall supply chain of those projects. Perfect. Then Elba uh, Line Six expansion, which was a key project, uh, they expanded their capacity, um, you know, significantly. Uh, the port again played a key part in making sure, uh, you know, that uh, that the project is, uh, you know, kept on time and, you know, we are uh, efficiently providing a supply chain solution yes. to them. Yes. Then recently, uh, the upcoming BAPCO modernization project, yes. which is again a very key project. Of course. Uh, this is where, uh, as port operators, we are uh, involved in that project. We are working with all the partners and stakeholders to make sure that this project… Uh, logistically. Uh, logistically. Maybe. So, yeah. as part of the supply chain, there are many elements. Yeah. As port operators, we are one of those elements and yes. we're a key stakeholder in Perfect. that. Uh, so we work uh, with other key stakeholders uh, who have been appointed for this project to make sure it moves very smoothly. Wonderful. Uh, and there are no delays uh, in that project. So in those aspects, uh, it has uh, it has worked really well. Uh, the port also, uh, you know, works with a lot of uh, its customers, uh, which includes you know businesses, companies, importers, exporters to make sure they are efficiently meeting the needs of their customers in yes, turn. Yes. And there are no delays, there are no, uh, you know, they can export the goods out of the country. Uh, they can find the vessel slots, uh, you know, they can meet their commitments uh, to their customers yes. and we, we make that happen uh, for them. Wonderful. So in that sense, you know, uh, we, we come into the equation and we try to facilitate uh, the trade and the customers uh, and the importers and exporters. Yes. Yeah. Well, the port has been under a lot of highlights, not just for uh, the developments that you talked about, but also because it was under a very public listing and a successful public listing yeah. as such. How uh, has um, basically the share price performance been so far yeah uh, absolutely so uh, we got listed uh, last year uh, actually it's almost a year uh, now since we got listed uh, so uh, this has been a very key milestone again uh, for us as a, as a company and this was a very successful listing uh, you know we were uh, subscribed uh, 5.4 times, uh, you know, of the offer size. So it was very hugely successful. It, in fact, it was the most successful IPO in the past decade in Bahrain. Yes. Uh, so, uh, and for me, uh, you know, and for us also, it was a bit of a surprise because we are not a consumer facing company. Okay. Port is something which people normally don't interact with. Yeah. We have a lot of impact. I mean, 90% of all the goods which are consumed, uh, you know, uh, or touched by people uh, are in fact coming through the port. But people normally don't. We are not a bank. We are not a consumer facing company. But still, there was a lot of interest yes. because people recognize it, uh, you know, uh, the, that is a key part of the overall infrastructure and part of the government vision. Yes. So they can see the growth yes. potential and they can. Especially uh, yeah. because of the strategic location Absolutely. of the port and yeah. also um, uh, the areas around it and yeah. um, uh, the fact that it's on a very important merchant uh, line as line, well. Line, yeah, yeah, overall yeah. trading yeah. route. So there was a lot of interest in that and as I was mentioning, it was heavily oversubscribed, uh, yeah. you know, and 
by a lot of members of public. It was not just institutions which subscribed the shares. We have more than 800 shareholders. 85% mm. of them or more than 85% of them are Bahrainis. Yeah. And since listing, our share price is more than almost double. Uh, we launched at uh, six, uh, 60 fills. We are close to 1.3 dinars now. So the share price has increased tremendously Fabulous. in past one year. Uh, we've also paid healthy dividend uh, in 2019. Overall, shareholders' return has been around 113% in, in a one-year period. Yeah. So it's been a very successful uh, investment yes. for, for our shareholders mm. and, uh, and uh, any very good uh, buy yes, for perfect. them. Yeah. I mean, uh, you are chief uh, financial officer, so you would also look at it from uh, a point of view, an increase in the future. So future developments would actually increase um, uh, these listings or, or basically the price as well. Yeah. I mean, when you go and look at it in a commercial point of view, because you guys do have um, uh, a couple of uh, cruise uh, liners that do port at the at the port itself. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So uh, that's an interesting point which you have brought up because uh, we are a port which not only deals with cargo, you know, container yeah. cargo and bulk and break bulk uh, cargo, we also have a passenger terminal. Yes. So uh, in the cruise season, which actually begins uh, in the winter period, it yes. starts from October and goes up till April, we see a lot of cruise ships, international cruise ships yeah. calling Bahrain, a lot of in passenger traffic uh, which passes through the port. So we have, have a dedicated passenger terminal to facilitate them. And we work very closely uh, with Ministry of Tourism yes. and other government bodies to make sure that this stay is pleasant. And yes. you know, uh, we are maintaining and attracting uh, mm -hmm. all the major international cruise liners to come to Bahrain. Yes. And what I can tell you is, in the past five years, uh, we've seen uh, quite a significant growth. Uh, yes. We have seen, uh, you know, an average year-on-year -year growth of 20 percent plus wow. in the passenger uh, numbers uh, that come uh, to to Bahrain. Uh, yes. This is a result of, you know, close collaboration uh, and work by all the relevant uh, bodies of the government, along with uh, with the port operators. So this is one segment Perfect. which has been really growing uh, significantly, yeah. and we are really happy and proud to be part of uh, that success story yeah, to well make this happen yeah we hope that grows more especially that the gulf waters are very calm waters and good ones yeah, to be cruising in yeah um in terms of efficiency khalifa bin salman port stands out as one of the best in the region in relations to container vessel productivity efficient customs process and gate turn time so yeah. what can you tell us more about uh, uh, that in addition to exerted efforts leading to maintaining such success especially that these pointers that i just mentioned are very important to for the clients to have a good experience yeah so please tell us about that yes absolutely so as I just mentioned you know this port was is part of the the vision uh, which has been laid out by the rulers of the country yes uh, and the vision was to have a very efficient uh, port which can open up possibilities for the trade for the business yeah that was the part of the vision and we are happy to support that you know and carry out this vision uh, in the port and a key pillar is to manage the operations efficiently and productively. Yeah. And in a container handling industry, there are a few measures uh, which from which you can gauge, uh, you know, uh, how productive or efficient a port is. Yeah. These are normally, you know, uh, the crane productivity, the berth availability and the berth productivity, uh, the vessel turnaround time, uh, the truck turnaround time. And uh, Khalifa bin Salman port ranks on the top end on all these matrices when you compare them uh, with global and regional ports. Mm. So it is a very efficient and, 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 and well-managed uh, port in that respect. Uh, we are uh, perhaps the only port in the region which where you can actually get delivery of the cargo on the same day as it has arrived in the wow. port. This has been done, made possible through the efforts, the improvement that we do, along with working very closely uh, with customs and, you know, customs also play That's a key part good. in making this happen yeah. uh, for the for the customers. Yeah. Uh, and you know, there are continuous uh, improvement projects uh, that as a port operator we embark upon. And uh, we're also part of a global port operating company. Yeah. APM terminals operate in 78 other ports. So we yes. share best practices and are always on the lookout to eliminate waste uh, yes. in our processes to make sure, you know, that these uh, efficiencies are there and we don't lose continuous, them over a period yeah. of time and yeah. no, no inefficiencies There's creep no up lacking. in the system. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 So this is a key focus. Well, us, yeah. um, um, well, let's turn back to the passenger terminal um, that is available. I mean, you mentioned um, efficiency is a very important thing. Yeah. And in order to grow the capacity of passengers that come, there's a lot of uh, things that um, pertain to uh, awareness. Uh, awareness not only of, for instance, that it's better to go through boat, it's a nicer view and everything, but also awareness from the prospect of 
Bahrain does have these services and maybe in the future yeah. tourism companies can actually or, or, or tourism companies will add it as the first um, uh, place to go out yeah. from. So what can you say about that? More awareness about uh, passenger yeah. ships? Uh, absolutely. I, and I, I think I would agree that this is an area which can be worked upon more. Mm -hmm. Uh, as I was mentioning, there's a lot of good work done. Uh, we have seen a tremendous increase in the passenger inflows uh, to, uh, to coming through the port uh, over the past five years. But we are there are projects in place, uh, and you know we are working very closely with relevant government bodies to make it you know the experience more better for yeah. the customers, and in fact put Bahrain on the map uh, in terms of international cruising because Bahrain has a lot to offer. Yeah. It has uh, 30 islands, you know, it has beaches, it has historical sites. So there's a lot of uh, different things, yeah. uh, you know, and we are working with the Ministry of Tourism to highlight them and to make sure uh, you know we put Bahrain on the map in terms of uh, tourism. As port operator, we do interact with a lot of international cruise liners. Mm -hmm. So uh, so we do pass that message on to them yeah. and uh, make it a value proposition for them because it has to be a win-win. Uh, they yeah. need to see of the course. opportunities for them as a business. So we make that kind of a win-win scenario for them and market Bahrain yes. uh, to them so that you know it can uh, make sense for them. And there's some of the results uh, or the, F the, the, the results we have seen of those efforts. I was just mentioning, you know, we've seen a five, in five years, we've seen quite a significant growth in terms of international cruise uh, passengers that have come to Bahrain. Perfectly, yeah. and they're even celebrated. I mean, recently you had a celebration with one of the cruise. Uh, yes, cruises. yes. yes. So, uh, so th there are new cruise liners which are coming over. So last week, uh, a new cruise liner uh, came up uh, for the season, and we have ceremonies on board uh, where we hand over uh, plaques to them, and you know uh, there is commemorative mm -hmm. ceremony. So in every new season, we have a few new cruise liners which which come and call to Bahrain, Perfect. which we always you know celebrate and and, and that milestone. Yeah. That's, that's wonderful because it's important to celebrate such things in order for people to know how yeah. it's improving. Well, um, after 10 years of performing its massive duties, how does the Khalifa bin Salman port assess its constant success? And what are the indi indicators for this success other than, of course, the growth of business? Yeah, uh, absolutely. I mean, uh, we, uh, we work very closely uh, with a uh, with, with lot of, you know, customer bodies, mm. uh, with government bodies. And the key objective is to remove barriers, uh, you know, in the trade and supply chain yeah. uh, for our customers, uh, for our consignees, for the businesses here. And towards that end, we as port operators interact with the with Chamber of Commerce, for instance, with our regulators, the yeah. Port and Maritime Affairs, we work very closely with them. We work with Economic Development Board of Bahrain uh, uh, to bring in investments in Bahrain. Mm. Uh, and the unified vision is to, is to remove barriers, is to facilitate trade, is to, is to, hamper, you know, is to, is to bolster, bolster the, the growth uh, of the economy. So, yeah. so we work towards that. And some of the measures uh, we have seen is, as I was mentioning, we have seen steady growth of volumes uh, yes. going through the port. Import and export both have increased. Uh, we, f we facilitate uh, Elba, for example, mm -hmm. uh, in exporting their goods out. Uh, we provide some dedicated uh, solutions to them uh, yeah. for stuffing their, uh, their products in and, you know, getting them out of the country uh, to their uh, customers. So these are all the different kind of things uh, we undertake Perfect. in this regard. Yeah. And all of these uh, things also need some kind of investment from um, uh, APM themselves, yeah. and APM has invested uh, in the infrastructure to boost the uh, the port's uh, facilities. It streamlined its operations, made it more user friendly. All this are uh, results in higher productivity levels and better services at the port. What can you tell us about these initiatives and about these uh, these tr these new uh, things that have been added in order to make it a more yeah. efficient uh, yeah. business? So, uh, uh, you know, our key goal is to manage this port in an efficient and productive manner. Yeah. And this certainly requires investment uh, mm. to happen. Uh, when we started operations, we put the necessary equipment and machinery in place. Mm -hmm. And as and when needed, uh, we upgrade and you know continue to enhance that. Yeah. The key thing which has happened over the past years and you know, the, the way it's evolving is there is a lot of focus on digital solutions as okay. well. So we are investing in that area as well. It's not just the heavy physical assets, but the digital side, you know, making the experience better yeah. uh, for the consumers and the customers. So we've uh, invested in a digital solution platform, which is Lyft, mm -hmm. where customers can actually, you know, sitting from their offices or homes can actually uh, book appointment, pay uh, their bills and come at the designated time to take the cargo uh, from the port. Perfect. So waiting times are reduced and, you know, the efficiencies are enhanced. Perfect. Other than that, uh, 
on average uh, in the past 5 6 years we've invested uh, on average 5 million dollars per annum yeah. in new equipment uh, uh, you know uh, uh, facilities and maintaining and upkeep of our Wonderful. facilities and, uh, and equipment and, and new digital and IT solutions. So this is the level of our uh, commitment uh, to make sure uh, we are uh, we, we manage the port in the best, best possible manner. Perfect, yeah. perfect. And uh, does it um, ha is it flourishing uh, when when you look at these investments and how you've applied them? Do you also see the the revenue change at that point? Yes, absolutely. Yes. So that is the the key idea uh, that uh, is uh, that we we do this investment, uh, it's a win-win, right? Yeah. We, we, we do this to, f to facilitate uh, the trade uh, mm. and, and, and our customers. This is our commitment as part of uh, running the port that yeah. we need to do, uh, we need to make efforts to, to, to make sure that we remove the barriers, we make it a better experience. And at the same time, it will help the business and, the, and, the, and, the, and, the, and our customers grow. Perfect. If they grow, obviously, as port operators, uh, we also grow. Of so course. it's a joint, uh, you know, win-win for everyone. And if they have a good experience, they will continue on with the uh, Absolutely. port. Absolutely. Perfectly. Well, um, part of, of what we just talked about is something called quality assurance. Yeah. And uh, quality assurance, security, safety, environmental systems are fundamental pillars of Khalifa bin Salman port and really any port that, that interacts with international um, uh, vendors uh, from that point. Talk to us more about the importance of those systems and how do they collaborate towards achieving a unified goal? Yeah, so APM terminals uh, is, has been an ISO certified entity. Uh, since we started operations. Mm -hmm. So we have been certified and then we have been recertified every yeah. year uh, or at periodic intervals. So we maintain uh, that quality standard, which is a testament of uh, ensuring that the quality is, is, is kept at the best possible level. Uh, we also uh, are ISPS certified when okay. it comes to security. And uh, safety is also, as you were mentioning, is a key value uh, mm -hmm. for us. We make sure that we have the right investments in place, we have the right procedures, we have the right protocols in place to make sure uh, all of the people working in the port do it in a very safe manner. Yes, yes. Uh, this is very important to us uh, as part of the values of the company, and we do necessary investments, uh, you know, and necessary changes in the procedures. One of the things, for example, we have invested recently is uh, load prevention control systems in okay. uh, in one of the in, in 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 our cranes which work in the yard, mm -hmm. in the RTGs they are yeah. called. So this is uh, sort of a best in class uh, thing which we have done, which prevents accidents and collisions from happening, you know, Perfect. container colliding with, mm -hmm. uh, with other things. So these are things which are very important. We continuously focus on them and we enhance uh, these processes to make sure we work in a very safe uh, and secure manner. Yeah. Yeah. Um, also part of the uh, safety and security are your collaborations with uh, governmental entities yeah. such as the Coast Guard and other places. What can you tell us about the cooperations with the government? Yeah. So there are uh, multiple government bodies th that we work with. Uh, we work with our regulators, which are Port and Maritime Affairs. Uh, yes. We work very closely with Custom Affairs. You mm -hmm. mentioned Coast Guards. Uh, we work with Economic Development uh, Board of Bahrain. And uh, we, we have a very healthy relationship with all of them. And all of them, as I was mentioning earlier, have a unified goal of removing barriers, uh, mm -hmm. you know, from the supply chain uh, and, uh, you know, facilitate trade. Uh, yeah. So we, we meet with them on a regular intervals. We have forums established. We also interact with chambers of commerce uh, to, 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 towards that end mm -hmm. to, to facilitate that. We, uh, we seek out help when required and at the same time we take feedback. So mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a very close collaboration uh, which is you know, towards a common goal. Yeah. So it, we, we, are th we are fortunate in that sense that we, uh, we have good relationship yeah. where we can actually uh, take our you know, if they are facing any challenges, we can discuss with the relevant people at the same time. If there's any feedback that can be provided to, to the port operators as well. So we work in a very collaborative and, you know, uh, and, uh, and uh, you know, friendly manner in that sense. Perfect, yeah. perfect. Well, um, in performing its duties, the APM Terminal Bahrain deals with several uh, private institutions as well, not just the public ones. So can you tell us about those? Uh, Private institutions, uh, you mean the customers? Uh, yes. Yeah. So, absolutely. So, uh, we uh, work with a lot of our customers, some big businesses, traders, and uh, we also uh, work in, in terms of creating customized solutions yes. uh, for them. Yes. Uh, to, to, to f with the objective th that they can meet their customers' need in an efficient manner. So we work, as I was mentioning, we work very closely with Elba, yeah. which have really expanded uh, their capacity and their uh, exports have, have gone up, uh, which we can see as, as port operators, we can see their volumes have gone up considerably. We are 
working very closely in terms of BEPCO modernization project yeah. which is which is going on. How about internationally? Uh, international companies you're talking about. Yeah, also, also, I mean, also. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So international companies, uh, you know, uh, absolutely. So Mondelez could be one example. Yes. Where they have uh, yes. they've set up uh, business uh, in Bahrain, and we are working with them, providing Perfect. customized solutions and facilitating them. And uh, and and these are the few big ones I've just named. Yeah, and there of are course. there's a there are a lot of other peoples we you know we work with our people have uh, regular interaction with them. So everyone has different challenges. So yes. it's not one size fits all uh, kind of a solution. So different customers have different needs. So we sort of respond to their needs. Uh, we advise them, uh, you know, uh, we consult with them yeah. and understand their pain points and try to resolve it, uh, uh, you know, whatever is within our control and also facilitate them by discussing with other stakeholders who we have some connections Perfect. with. So that is our goal Perfect. and objective. Yeah. So you tailor the experience depending on what they want. Yes, and what absolutely. They so some have storage needs, some have, you know, uh, needs for a faster, uh, you know, uh, time uh, well. faster time to uh, to get the goods out and you know get the exports out. So yes. needs vary a lot, and our objective is to respond to those needs to facilitate them. Perfect. Yes. Perfect. Well, um, I'm sure APM has a lot of future plans and uh, for the port itself. So, what can you tell us about the future p uh, plans of uh, the Khalifa bin Salman port? Yeah. So, future. Uh, you know, as I was mentioning. Uh, this day and age, uh, this whole industry, the shipping industry, uh, the port industry, uh, is changing in the sense that consumers are demanding, uh, you know, more convenience. Yes. Like in all other industries, you can see they they want, uh, you know, uh, f faster uh, turnaround times. They want digital solutions so that they can track their cargo. So we are focused towards that. Right. We are uh, cognizant of of these needs, and we are working, uh, you know. Uh, with different businesses, you know, our customers to make sure the customers, uh, at our end customers, yeah. feel that benefit. Uh, so we are investing accordingly uh, in that uh, towards uh, this end. And uh, yeah, this, this is obviously uh, one of the things that we're focusing on. And uh, the other key thing for us is uh, at the moment we have a capacity of around a million TUs. Okay. Uh, we have equipment, machinery, space available for a million TU capacity. Nice. We are 50 percent or roughly 45 percent to 50 percent utilized at the moment. Mm -hmm. So one of the key objective for us is uh, to increase this capacity, yes. increase their utilization, you know. Since uh, you have it available. Absolutely. We have yeah. it available. We can offer solutions. So we work very aggressively in, in creating this, these kind of solutions. Uh, uh, Khalifa bin Salman port has a very strategic location as well. Yes, it does. Uh, it is, you know, uh, and Bahrain is connected to, to big Saudi market via Causeway. Yes. Uh, we are well placed, uh, you know, in terms of upper Gulf uh, as well, we can, we are with close proximity with Iraq, with Kuwait. So right. we're working with international vessel lines uh, mm -hmm. to increase transshipment uh, yes. business as well. Yes. There has been some challenges, uh, obviously, uh, things have changed in shipping Unrest lines and, and we so have on. good transshipment volumes uh, a few years back, but we are still working on that because we see a good value proposition yes. uh, for all the stakeholders involved. So these are the few pillars which we'll continue to work towards to, to basically uh, get more and more volumes into Bahrain, perfect. into our port, into uh, the shipping uh, ecosystem. Perfect, yeah. perfect. Yeah. I mean, that's wonderful. Um, at this point, uh, I just want to ask, um, are there like um, any specific uh, um, things that you would like to add now at the end of the show? Uh, uh, for us, uh, you know, uh, the port, uh, what I would simply say is for your viewers, uh, and I think I mentioned uh, earlier, we are not a consumer facing. People yeah. normally uh, don't interact with us directly. Mm -hmm. uh, we facilitate businesses and trade. But it's just that, you know, most of the things that we consume here in Bahrain and most of the exports which happen, almost 90% of that comes through us. Yes, it does. So uh, making sure, uh, you know, it's a big responsibility. Yeah. Yeah, making sure things are, uh, you know, run efficiently, smoothly, 24-7. Uh, yeah. uh, so this is our job. This is what we do uh, to, to 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 help uh, ensure there is no disruption yes. and uh, there is no delays, there are no disruptions and uh, this is something all of us are focused on. Okay. And one uh, more thing which I would add is I think we covered uh, the economic impact of the yeah. port. There is a social impact as well. Yes. Uh, as, as a port operator, there are 800 plus people yes. who work in our port. Uh, 64 percent, around 64 percent of people employed by APM terminals are Bahrainis. Yes. And we provide the growth and development opportunities to yeah. all the workforce. So this is also a key 
part of you know True. of what absolutely. we do and uh, and what is important to us yes absolutely yeah. I mean, all of this is really wonderful, and we thank you for being with us today and talking to us about it. And we invite our dear viewers to learn more about the uh, Khalifa bin Salman port. There's a lot of it, uh, of the information available on the internet. And we would like uh, to thank you, dear viewers, for watching us uh, today. And we'll see you next week in another episode of Inside Edition.